Praise the Lord, brethren. I just want to bless the Lord for you. Uh, I want to thank God. Sorry, I've been away for some times. I've not been in, but I want to bless the Lord for you. And uh, I just want to tell you that God is the solution. God is the only solution to our problem. No matter what it takes, no matter what you go through, no matter how things become difficult, no matter how you see it, but uh, it still remains that God is the final solution. Uh, I'll just ask us to, uh, in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, the Bible says that knock and it shall be open unto you. Seek and you will find. Ask and you will ask and you will be given. Uh, everything that you ask in your life, God is able to forgive to give. Everything, whatever you seek, you'll find you you find. So when you ask, you give him. And uh, God is not an author of confusion. He's not a man to lie. His answers are always yes and amen. He always thinks be better for his children. I want to say that God thinks good big for you. That God loves you. God cares about you. God is always there, wondering about you, thinking about you all the time, always desiring you to change, to transform. He's the creator of heaven and the earth. He's everything. He's the general of our lives. He's the maker, the keeper. God is always every good things that happens in our lives. The Bible says that the devil comes to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But Jesus came to give us life of eternity. He came to give us life in abundance. He came to give us hope that we lost in, in the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden. Hope that we lost in that time that Edom and Eve committed sin and ate the forbidden fruit. Uh, we lost hope of seeing God again. We lost hope of communicating to God. We lost hope of God visiting us because of the sin that Adam and Eve uh, did. Uh, when Adam and Eve, before Adam and Eve uh, ate the forbidden fruit, they could see God physically. They could see God. God could come and communicate to them. God could come and speak to them. They could sit with God and talk to God like man-to-man -man talk. But after Adam and Eve uh, ate the forbidden fruit, they ceased to see God. They ceased to see God. When you sin, sin distracts us from seeing God. Sin blocks our eyes, There's our eyes, and we cannot see God again. We cannot experience God. It's just like a man walking on the road and could not see anything in front or behind him, neither beside, beside him. A blind man could not know even what is happening in his horror life. A blind person could not even recognize the kind of the, how does the person he's speaking with looks like. A blind man could not even recognize. He could only hear the voice. Uh, brethren, we are in that life that we cannot see God, but we can only hear his voice. 
At times, even the devil blind us. The Bible said that the God of this world has blinded, has blinded you not to see the gospel, the good gospel of the good news in the name of Jesus. I want to pray that the Lord of heaven and earth may open each and everyone's eye, may open our eyes that we may see him, that we may experience him. Hallelujah. I want to pray that the Lord of heaven and earth may help us, may hold our hands. And when he speaks, we feel the power of the grace. We feel the power of the Holy Spirit communicating to us in the name of Jesus. I want to pray and I want to speak to you. I want to tell you that God is the solution, the only solution to our problem. No one be is a solution. No, which doctor is never the solution? Your parents is never the solution. Your teacher is never the solution. Your brother is not a solution. Your girlfriend is not a solution. Your boyfriend is not a solution. But Jesus is the solution to our problem. God is a solution. The Bible says, God look up from heaven. In, uh, look up from heaven. But he sees none is righteous. And that he went and made a meeting in heaven. And Jesus came along. Jesus, Jesus was a solution to the sin. A solution to us that we can come out of sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for you are the creator of heaven and earth. Let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you praise. I honor you. I bless you for who you are. You are the greater I am. You are the Lord of heaven and earth. You are the king of glory. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the mighty man of war. The indomitable warrior. I praise you. I honor you. I glorify thy name. Thy name is a strong tower. And the righteous run to it, and they are saved. Father, we run to you. We seek for salvation. We seek for help that you may give us hope again, that we may hope of your coming, that we may hope of an, a good life, that we may hope of a new life. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. I bless your name. May you bless each and everyone that is listening. Bless them in abundance. Bless them in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I glorify thy name. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.